when Nick made the phone call and said that, you know, you just can't ride with us, and then she posted Westview bitches, then, you know, Nick got upset, and that was when the remark was made. Nick came home and told us everything that was happening. We talked about it, and, you know, well, gosh, you know, Katie probably feels bad. She doesn't get to go. Nick never mentioned that again. And then when she came to our house, showed up at our house, Daniel's like, who is this woman? So her saying that we didn't do anything about it, we did. We didn't think it was a big deal. All right, Katie, is this the right characterization of this phone call that you got from Nick? No, not at all. The story is so twisted. I asked my best friend if I could go with them, and she told me, ask another girl. So I asked her, and then I asked that other girl, and she said, yes, you just have to get your own ride. And Nick called me the next day at school and said, nobody likes you. You can't come with us. We already have reservations. And the whole group was there laughing behind him. Do you define rejecting you as bullying you? No. They called me to harass me and to hate on me. That was the bullying, not the rejection. Well, Nick's sister Morgan is joining us in the audience in support of her brother. Uh, Morgan, thanks for being here. What do you want to say about this? I go to SU High School. And I have had a lot of strangers that I don't even know, students at my high school, come to me with their own stories after all this has come out in the media about Katie bullying them. And I don't think the media has shown the side of Katie being the bully. And I just don't think that's fair. Katie, uh, have you, uh, throughout your time as a, uh, as a student at this school or others, have there been occasions where you have bullied others? You know, I've gotten into arguments with people like every teen does, and I've said things I don't mean. Didn't my brother make a comment that he maybe didn't mean? Well, isn't What's it any funny different that from how you? in the police report he told somebody he wanted to kill me? Has he killed you? No. I don't, you said, has he killed you? Of course not. I know you're being sarcastic when you say that, but what he said, he should not have said. And you okay. don't want to trivialize that, you don't want to minimize that. But by the same token, we don't need to blow it out of proportion either. He made a mistake. He made right. a dumb comment. We've never said he didn't. She says that nobody's taken action. The police have come and talked to everybody. Everything, everybody's been doing something, and the reason nothing's happened is because there is no club. Do you believe under any theory now that there is an active club at school that still exists today? Oh, we know it still exists. They are going around people, or around Westview, trying to recruit them to join a hate documentary. Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.